What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We have a special one here. Jadong in the bottom right versus TY in the top left. Yeah, TY, his new accounts have been figured out on the ladder. So we've been flooded with replays from him. Uh, we just did one with him versus Shine, which was uh, a lot of fun. So we're going to be checking out this one versus Jadong. We even have a replay, actually, like a uh, follow-up game with him versus Shine. We might put that out later this week. But it's always nice when we find one of these strong players, one of these up-and-coming uh, professionals who is... Um, Figured out on the ladder. We find out what their real ID is and we can start to follow their seawall.gg. It's always a, a nice little present for me when I find out another pro, pro player ID. So let's jump into this one. I wonder what TY is going to bust out against Jadong here. Because he really did have an interesting build versus Shine a little bit earlier. Looks like he's just going to put Rax on high ground and... This is a matchup that we've really been struggling with lately. So we're going to be paying very close attention to what Jadong is doing. And guys, we've been doing a lot of streaming, a lot of practice, ladder practice on the stream. So thanks to everyone who showed up and supported on either YouTube or Twitch. My Twitch ID is uh, Saiyan SC. So you can come by, drop by, give us a follow. Watch us uh, struggle on the ladder. Recently, we had Shun helping us. He was um, coaching, giving us some tips while we were playing. It's unironically harder to actually play, I think, when you've got someone talking in your ear the whole time. It's actually way more difficult, um, especially with Shun. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it was really, really really hard to play but uh you know he was giving us some good tips giving us some good information i think we improved overall from it but i was honestly playing like five times worse and getting pretty tilted um but yeah we learned some things we are growing and the thing the most important thing is just to remember that it's not about winning or losing it's just about constant incremental improvement and that's how we're going to eventually get to A rank. That's right, guys. Eventually, we will get there. That is the goal right now. Whoa, this drone. He's not even uh, floating anymore. He's, like, possessed. No movement. Just absolutely still heading back to the mineral patch in the main base, I assume. Possibly here at the natural. We're going to get that layer online and... This is looking like it's lined up to be just a regular 2.5 hatch play. I think that's what we're going to see. 2.5 hatch. You're going to throw down your uh, third hatchery right as this layer finishes up. And we're going to see a spire come down about 15 seconds after that. Something like that. So here comes that drone. There's the hatchery right as this is finishing. His uh, timings are a little bit better than mine. Obviously, Jadong being who he is. Having a little bit more skill at these early game uh, macro. With his early game ma macro here, making sure that he has just the exact right number of minerals and gas. And look at this, moving across the map with three marines. This is a cheeky move that a lot of Terran players will do. And if you happen to only build two links here and just drone... You could end up getting caught by this. Three Marines walking near natural while the Lynx are chasing the SCV means you could end up losing like two or three drones. It's really, really painful. And it's a good move here by TY. Back at home, TY still on one barracks. He's gone into a plus one upgrade. That means that his Marines here on the field are that much more important. You really need to keep those alive and... Right now, Jadong's sending his lings across the map here. He's got six total. The second and third barracks are going to start here. We really need to be careful with these Marines. And I'm surprised he didn't put a depot or something in the front here just to help, you know, reduce the surface area here. But I guess since it's cross map and he's seen most of what's going on in Jadong's base, he realizes that he's not going to be in any trouble and that he can just sit back here, get into his barracks and... 
you know, get ready to pressure the map here. We've got four racks coming up. Four racks with the plus one is very scary. Now, we are going to see seven mutas popping out at the same time here. They're all going to be uh, popping in about six minutes, which is right on time here for the 2.5 hatch. And as they come across the map, we'll have to watch to see when this is identified. When there's the four, when you see the four racks plus one, as soon as you see that, you have to kind of make a choice, and the choice is not an easy one. It's do I want to fight the two, uh, four racks plus one, or do I want to immediately transition, halt all high, or muta production, and try to get out of the mutalisk game here, or do I want to fight this? Because fighting this is very hard. The, there's going to be so many marines out on the map, so many medics, They've got a lot of turrets here in the main base, so you're not going to get a huge amount of harassment done. And the Marines are going to have plus one. They're going to be just like legions of Marines popping out here. It's going to make one pass. We'll see how much damage he can do. Looks like one meter going to get picked off right away. He's actually caught in the back corner here. Really good reaction speed and uh, overall reaction here to this Mutalist dive. And two Mutas went down. Now I think there's actually a v much easier choice here, which is, you know, we just lost two mutas. We haven't done any damage to this bio. We actually unironically need to change tech, like right now. Well, he's going to keep producing mutas for the time being. Seven are on the way, but I feel like this is a really hard hill to climb here. Maybe he has no idea that this is TY. He thinks this is just another random ladder opponent and... It's not a pro gamer who's going to really put huge pressure on him. Maybe he thinks, ah, oh, yeah, I can outmaneuver this guy. And maybe he will be able to. It's this Jadong after all. But it's going to be tough, man. It is really going to be tough. We already have plus one done. We don't even have plus one air weapon yet for these mutas. So let's see what he can do. He's trying to dog the Marines. It's really important that you get behind the Marines. It's something that Shun told me about a lot. He always criticizes me for this, and I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Is you need to be behind this Marine Medic Ball. You need to keep following it so that you know where it is. But you also need to be ready for these reinforcements so you can catch the reinforcements and prevent this ball from staying out on the map while it's being reinforced. This should not be allowed to make it to this Marine Medic Ball. He's gonna try and find this now. Okay, he sees it. This is very important. He needs to pick this off. There we go. He will get those kills. And you can see TY not very happy about it. He's gonna lose some Marines on the way back as well, I think. He should be able to catch these. Now the problem is though, he does not know where this is on the map. That's a little bit of an issue here that I'm seeing with Jadong. Now he has thrown down his Hydralist and his Queen's Nest. He is gonna transition here. But he needs to fight this Marine Medic Ball. He cannot allow this Marine Medic Ball to reach his natural. He does not have any defense. He does not have any lurkers. We have to fight this. So, it's all going to come down to how the fight goes here. How he's able to engage. He's picking off a few Marines here and there. Doing a good job so far. Getting quite a few of these Marines. He's even chasing Marines up into the top right. I guess TY was banking on maybe that was the, the hatchery was up there. He wanted to find out about that because he hasn't been able to find it yet. And it's actually at a very unscoutable location. You're very unlikely to scout this with a scan. Uh, let's see if he just did that now. Still no dice. Has not scanned to find this base just yet. It's gone completely unawares here. And the Marine Medic Ball has been pushed back. So very well done by Jadon. This is a point in the game when I usually end up dying, honestly. When I see the four racks play and I try to make only pure Muta to hold it off, uh, it usually does not go very well for me. Um, looks like he's going to try and fight this uh, Valkyrie here. But my goodness, three volleys there. One from this guy and two from this guy. Rip these... Mutalist apart, men, they are very, very low now. But we've got Lurker. Now, I don't want to see Jadon go out on the map with this, but it looks like he's going to. He's going to go ahead and try to set up some Lurker traps around the map. See if he can't catch TY moving through the middle and see if he can, you know, suddenly kill him with a bunch of hold position Lurker. Now, he's actually gone with most of his Lurker over here to the, uh, the, the, bottom left and he's got okay he's got some lurker down here 
All right, this is this is better. He's going to counter attack into the natural. And back at home, he's got plenty of Lurker to hold on to everything. So I actually really like this play. I thought he was going to go set up some Lurkers out on the map, but he's not doing that. Instead, he is playing safe. He is going to be transitioning here. Defiler Mound is on the way. He got some kills on some SCVs. He slowed down TY a little bit. He is probably going to lose all of his mutas, but Dems the breaks. Okay, he's going to turn around, maybe kill these. Oh, the Valkyries almost all going down there. Really nice job by Jadon. Can he actually catch these? I think the Valkyrie is just slightly slower than the than the Scourge, maybe. So can he actually catch that? No, he's not going to be, going to be able to. He's going to try and catch over here. Maybe get uh, intercept. Not quite. Unfortunate. Not able to catch that. Maybe he gets them right now. That's really, really close. But Marine's going to catch this. Oh, Scourge. They really want to connect here. But Marines are going to save this. That's unfortunate. Jadong not going to get those connections, but it's fine. We're not too worried here. The science facility tech has been severely delayed here. Oh my god, he's going to try and break this? Are you kidding me? This is about the dumbest thing you could ever do right now is TY. Look at all the dead bodies here. These marines making a huge, horrible, horrible mistake. He's going to try and break this again? Are you kidding me right now? This is terrible for TY. The Nidus should be connected by now, but it, maybe it's not quite. Okay, there it is. It just connected. We've got some lurkers still here. We've got the Defiler popping out, and everything will be forced back for TY. So TY just lobbed his entire army into this base, thinking that he could break through. But Jadong having some nice position, able to hold on to everything, keep himself alive, and now he's got... Like, full map control. He he is, like, unleashed on the map here way before any Zerg player should be unleashed on the map. So he's going to get out here, look for some opportunities to, to where maybe he can get over towards this natural. He's not going to be able to, but maybe he can, you know, shut down some rallies here. He is going to be able to come forward, drop some lurkers, maybe deny this third base for now. Looks like TY will turn around, maybe, perhaps, head back to actually defend this. He, he really does not want to have... A Defiler in his natural, throwing down Dark Swarm. He almost gets the Defiler there. Really, really close here. But he's actually looking at this natural like, hmm, maybe I can get through there. Yeah, you can't break that, bro. You cannot break that. Well, he's going to try anyway. Defiler's here in the natural. We'll go picture in picture to those Defilers as TY breaks through this natural here. Okay, not going to break through because, of course, there are Defilers. I don't know what he was expecting right here. Looks like we're going to end up losing some of these vessels. We're also going to get Plague very soon. These Marines are completely medicless. There we go. The medics are coming up now, finally. They're going to join this fight here. He's trying to throw down a Plague, I think. There we go. Finally, a Plague goes down. Gets all of these medics. And Jadong just ripping apart the natural here. This is bad, bad news for TY. And he does tap out. Wow. I gotta say, outclassed here. Jadong really putting in a great effort. Handling this Terran player really, really well. Are we sure this is TY? I think so. This was sent to me by Dude Nerd, and he's never done me wrong before. So, uh, I believe this is, in fact, TY. And going a little bit too ham on this third base, man. What was he thinking? He had a massive group of Marine Medic which could have just spread and sat out in front of this base. And he could have had another spread and sit out in front of this base and play it out, you know, grab another base, show us your late game macro, go into tank, go into a huge amount of uh, vessel, go into battle cruiser. But he did not want to do that. Instead, he just bet everything on breaking this position before the Nidus Canal was finished. And, you know, that's that's the thing. If you get through that position, and you kill the Nidus Canal, and you kill this whole thing. Wow, Nidus Canal actually looks kind of sick. Looks like it's got teeth, man. That's a freaky looking thing. Never really looked up close to a Nidus Canal before. But if you do break through this area, and you get on top of this Nidus, you kill that bad boy. This game goes so heavily in Terran's favor, it's almost unlosable. So he really did bet it all on this push. The safer play, the play that I was hoping for. He foregoes here for that, you know, all in. I don't want, I hesitate to say all in, but it's like 
It's like a very low percent chance of winning. But if it works, it's like 100% you win. Or it, it's a very low percent chance of winning. But if it works, it's a 100% chance you take that game away. And Jadong, he's not one to skimp here. We've seen him skimp in previous games. We've seen him skimp in tournament play. But here he's being dead honest. Having just enough lurker here all spread. He didn't need to stack his lurkers because... Uh, there weren't those uh, irradiates coming down because the irradiate was late because we went Valkyrie. And you know what? Let me, let me just say this. I think TY is not totally confident in his medic, mi medic marine micro ability. That's what I'll say because think about it here. Guys, he went four racks plus one. He had a huge amount of marines and he still went Valkyrie. He still went Valkyrie. Because it's like he was afraid of the Mutalus, right? Why was he so afraid of the Mutalus? He's not confident in his Marine Medic play. If he's a confident player, like a JYJ or someone who's really good against Zerg, he would go that Marine Medic and he would battle it out. He would gut it out versus those Mutas and he would get into Fast uh, Vessel. Or Fast Dropship if he's someone like Sock. Right? He would not build Valkyrie there. And especially not if you scan the main base and you see that there's a transition coming. You do not build those Valkyries because they are not necessary. And they're going to slow down your vessel timing by quite a lot. So maybe TY not as well versed in uh, Terran versus Zerg. Maybe we're not giving him enough credit. But it seems like in this game, which by the way is from February... Of 2024. Let me just 100% confirm that. Yeah, February. This is February 27th of 2024. It's, um... Yeah, it's not, uh... It's not looking that strong, man. His, ter his t TVZ, not looking that great. Maybe this is just an off game. I don't know, guys. That's it for your daily dose of Brood War. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I know this is a long outro, but... Guys, we'll see you in the next video or come drop by the stream and hang out. We do appreciate everybody who stopped by. See you tomorrow.